if there is one thing a lot of people wanted at a time when Senzo passed away, is actually retrieving messages between Kelly Kumalo and her sister. Not only that, but their conversations at that time, especially with what happened that night when Senzo's life was taken away, right? Now, one of the most disturbing things among everything we have seen is that Kelly Kumalo and Zanzile Kumalo, who are both sisters, were in a relationship at the same time with Senzo Meiwa. Like, is that actually right to your ears? Now, we have seen many celebrities come up and talk about the fact that this is the worst of all of them. And of course, they can't believe that two sisters will be in an affair with one man. And the worst thing about it is they were aware of it. Now, there is something we have to talk about. Yes, the messages, of course, that were spoken between Kelly Kumalo and her sister Zanzile Kumalo. We'll be talking about this in details. Please do want to subscribe, give this video a like, leave a comment on the comment section. Thank you for your love and support. You see, as they go further, the investigation wraps up, but it seems like it's going to take a longer time than we expected. When all the investigation had started, we thought maybe in a year or two everything would be done. But here we are. We are still talking about Senzo's life for nine good years. Is that not unbelievable? To start with, I think nine years has been a lot of time to investigate something that happened way back in 2014. And of course, the people were present there, up to more than four plus people, and they can't give potential answers to what had happened. The only thing we can find is inconsistent testimonies, and we can only just go to the point where we don't even have answers. Questions have been asked, answers have been given, but they don't point to the one who is responsible for everything. Now, it's important to remind you that if anything was supposed to be done when Senzo's life was taken away, it should be at the point when he just passed on. And it's very important to know that every single call, every single message between Kelly Kumalo, her sister, Longwe Tuala, her mother, Malala, everyone was present at the home of Kelly Kumalo's mom that night in Vosloros, October 26th. Their calls and messages have to be tracked. Information from insider sources as I made in my last video confirms that Kelly Kumalo and her sister were not actually in contact at that time because Kelly Kumalo was very much mad. I mean, really mad at her sister for being in a relationship with her boyfriend or should i say her then boyfriend senzo meiwa but later indeed the information we have and it is said the police have this information is that they made up with each other and made up not to actually reveal some things yes probably they had understood that they were on tra track and they were tracking them and they made the message somehow encrypted it's very obvious for that so why were they not talking is a big question as of why Longwe Tswala actually escaped the scene is a big question because that was also involved in the message as well. Now, another question that has been raised by many fans is, what about Longwe Tswala's track of messages? Is that not an important one? The only important information that the police has of half of now, I should say, is the information when Zandile Kumalo called Chiko Tswala and revealed everything that she had said in the phone. With him, to be honest, that message sounded to me like maybe Long Wetola has a lot involved in this case because she won't just be depressed, or maybe she said she caught shock and she'll call one person and only one person, Chico Tuala. Yes, that is it, and for sure, the investigation is coming up. My next upload, I'll be revealing the content of each message, so feel free to subscribe and leave your thoughts on the comment section.